just finished breakfast at the Clinton Street Baking Company and the food was okay. We'll stop by the gourmet market to see what food can we bring back home. We're on the lookout for pumpkin spice everything. Okay. She loves pumpkin spice. Just her though. You know I'm going to edit that out, right? <laughs> and we're back in After You. It looks like this is going to be our favorite cafe. And we're back in After You. This looks like... We're back in After You. This looks like... back in after you. It looks like this is going to be our favorite cafe here in Bangkok. We're now in the Rod Phai Night Market and there are actually two locations for the Rod Thai Night Market. We are the one that is nearest to the city. Uh, we got off near the Thailand Cultural Center Metro Station. And before you come here, make sure you have cash <laughs> because they don't have any money exchangers here. What they do have are some ATMs before, right, you, before you enter the market. So hopefully we can withdraw some money and hopefully our ATMs work. We made a rookie mistake. We made a very rookie mistake. Coming to a night market with no cash. That's a rookie mistake right there. Our ATM worked. It worked. So our ATM had a MasterCard. So you can withdraw money at any local bank here that serves MasterCard. So that was a definitely lifesaver. These are fresh river prawns. You can get six of them for 250 baht. And these are really good. It's fresh. Look. It's cooked just right behind me. Now the shrimp comes with this sauce. And it's really good. It adds flavor to the shrimp. Now this sauce is composed of lime juice, cilantro, garlic, and some fish sauce. And I think it has some chilies in it too, because it's a little bit spicy. Mm. We also bought a bottle of this sauce earlier today in the supermarket. We're bringing a bottle home. <laughs> It's very busy here. You just saw are some insects. Those were some worms, some water cockroaches, and grasshoppers. So if you're feeling adventurous, you can try it out. So there's a whole alley of food. The longer you stay in there, there's a lot of heat and you might get dizzy or feel a little bit sick because of the lack of oxygen or air. So get in, get out. The Rod Thai Night Market is a huge market. Now there's three alleyways where they serve just food. 
Now, you have the small food servers where they serve their own food but they don't have any place to sit down on. But then you have the bigger food servers where they have a place somewhere like this where you can sit. So we've decided to find a place like this so that we can sit down and enjoy a meal. We were also looking for a place that has an open area so that it doesn't get too hot. So we picked a place where they have a grilling station. And ice here is a commodity. It's 5 baht for a glass of ice. And we're done with dinner. I honestly think that anything with this sauce makes everything taste better. Now that we've finished eating, we gotta walk this off. So it's time for shopping. in the room. Road 5 Market was a little bit of a disappointment. If you're going there with a primary purpose of shopping and eating good food, then you would be disappointed just like we were. If, however, you are going to say for example, have some beer, explore the nightlife, then that would be a very good idea. They have this area just full of bars and pubs wherein there's some DJ playing, there's uh, sports, football, playing on the background. That's a lot of clothes, and then more clothes, and then clothes again. You will also be able to find a lot of knockoff items like a lot of Supremes, Gucci's, and Adidas. Who would like to go shopping? Then Chat the Chap Market has a lot more to offer. It has more variety, and quality is so much better. That's all for this vlog. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. See you next time.